Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon Channel. This is a weekly general reading for the sign of Virgo for December 17th to the 23rd. Um, this week I am using the Hot Off the Presses Lost Forest Tarot 3rd Edition. Um, I just did a review on this. They are wonderful cards. Please check out my review on my channel. Um, we're going to clarify with the Wandering Star Tarot. And our oracle cards for this week are the Messenger Oracle and the Gentle Creatures Oracle. So let's see what we've got going on for you, Virgo. I want to say thank you for all of your contributions, your likes, shares, subscribes, and especially for your comments. Um, Virgo is actually, I get more views on my Virgo readings than I do any of the other readings. So thank you so much for participating in that. I appreciate that. And I hope that you are safe and happy and enjoying the holiday season. Let's see what we've got going on here. Virgo. All right, there we go then. <laughs> All right. Very talkative for Virgo, of course. Let's see what we have here. Hey, lovely. Let's see. We have. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what we've got. Okay. As usual, I'm going to pull your oracle cards while we discuss this layout. But let me tell you what we've got. We have the Two of Skies, and that's the Suit of Swords. Okay. Um, the Eight of Oceans, which is Cups. Six of Skies, the Emperor, Ten of Fire, Five of Earth, the Mystic, which is the High Priestess, the Knight of Skies, and the Page of Skies. So a lot of mental energy going on here for you um, this upcoming week. We've got a difficult decision coming right on out of the gate, right? Uh, making a difficult decision. Uh, and it has to do with um, walking away from the things that no longer serve you, right? Um, that no longer bring you joy or happiness. It could be people, places, situations, things, right? Habits, um, anything that you are emotionally attached to. You've mastered that skill to emotionally detach yourself from uh, that person, place, thing. So that you can walk away from it and move towards your Nine of Cups, right? The um, Six of Skies is also indicating that you're moving from this chaotic energy into uh, calmer waters. Standing in your power, embracing your own authority and power. Knowing that um, uh, you are the keeper of your realm. You are the master of of your realm and um, then we come over here to the ten of fire this is about releasing your burdens and it may be that your connections with people places things are not only no longer giving you pleasure or um, joy 
but they are becoming burdensome to you. They are becoming overwhelming for you when you know that you have a much brighter future ahead of yourself. Now, the five of earth, um, on the negative aspect of that is um, uh, feeling left out in the cold, right? And you may have um, had a situation where you felt you were not appreciated in the way you should have been, right? Um, but this also speaks to um, your mindset and being able to uh, be grateful for the things that you do have, right? Be grateful for um, those, my sage is still burning. Be grateful for those things that are in your life that do bring you joy and that you do hold dear to you <clears throat> and that you do appreciate. And, you know, not uh, putting your energy towards your weaknesses or the things that you feel you are lacking but putting your energy towards the things that you do have, that you are grateful for, that bring you happiness and joy. You have this deep knowing within yourself that, you know, you, there are better things for you um, going forward and you need your mindset to match your, the actions you're about to take, right? So that you know, you're going towards that happiness, um, that, that piece of wonderful that everybody is always in search of, right? Um, you have this deep knowing that as long as you, um, put out, uh, the energies that you wish to receive, then that's what you're going to receive tenfold, right? So focusing, um, on the positive aspects of this card, there are going to be changes and challenges in your immediate world, right? But um, you have a deep knowing that these changes are for the better. This Knight of Skies, this is the Knight of Swords, right? He comes in with this message of truth, honesty, integrity, um, coming forward unapologetically authentic, right? Uh, the Page of Skies is the a Spy Master card, but it's a Spy Master card because this is the truth seeker. This is the one who, this is the student that's going to be jumping down those rabbit holes to find out what the, the, the real truth is, right? And sometimes the truth isn't going to be... Um, isn't going to be what you want it to be. <laughs> and it isn't going to be something that is easy to hear. But you know that it is for, you have this deep knowing, it is for your highest good. I just really love that mystic card. Let me show you this mystic card. Um, this actually is the image that started this entire deck, is this uh, image the, and um, it's called the mystic because that's what the painting is called. Um, but it's the high priestess, okay, in this deck. Let's see if we can get some clarification. To, okay. So the two of skies is clarified by the high priestess. You got the high priestess twice, okay? The fool and the three of pentacles. So this is this decision um, that that you're making for your future, obviously, to walk away from these situations that are not bringing you any happiness, but are actually um, more of a burden for you, right? You have this deep knowing that um, if if you walk away from these things and start on your new journey, that you're only going to grow and expand in the world around you. This is the teamwork makes the dream work card. This is this is about growth and expansion in your material world, right? Let's see what this eight of oceans is. 
I feel like my voice is weird because I just had a glass of milk. I haven't had milk in a very long time. <laughs> Let's see what we've got going on. Eight of Oceans. I didn't even know my phone was in here. <laughs> but there we go then. Now I know where my phone is. Okay. The Eight of Oceans, clarified by the Justice and the Mother Star, which is the Yes card in this deck. Okay, this is an extra card. So justice is in your favor, obviously. This is about, yes, you are strong enough to go forward. You are strong enough to walk away from the people, places, things that no longer serve your highest good, bring you joy, um, help you to um, achieve that dream that you've always had to make come true, right? See what the Six of Skies says. of swords so we've got the page of swords twice so this is about finding the truth being a figuring out a way to be okay with the truth and knowing that your truth is your truth and it's time for you to move forward and live that truth right um unapologetically and you should virgo i mean moving forward and I mean, easier said than done, right? But you have the fortitude and the skills and the ability to move forward and um, live your life the way you were meant to live it. Follow that destined path, right? What does the emperor has to have to say? of pentacles so yeah i mean this is a whole new beginning in your material world this is a new dynamic passionate uh wonderful destined beginning for you um you need to stand in your own authority and your own power and recognize your own power for what exactly what it is um every individual has their own specific uh natural born talents and skill sets right and it's up to you whether or not you want to hone in on mastering those natural gifts and talents or not. You know, free will and all. All right. <laughs> wow, you guys. Okay. Ten of fire clarified by the ace of wands. You're ready for a whole new passionate beginning, right? You're going to release those burdens yeah, because you've got a passionate new beginning starting for you. Whatever this, this new destined path is for you is the path that you were meant to be on. And you can't take everyone with you, you know, as we learn through our lifetimes. We can't take certain people with us throughout our entire journey. Sometimes we have to leave them behind, let them go, right? Five 
five of earth. Starting over is um, very scary, but remember, it's not just starting over. It's starting from experience. Making that decision to do that is a really big decision. But you need to ask yourself, is that the path that's best for you? Eight of Pentacles, clarifying the five of earth. Yeah, talk about... Didn't I just say mastering your own skills? Mastering your your skill set, okay? This is something that may even help to bring you a financial stability. So the mystic, the um, high priestess, clarified by the Ten of Wands, which you have twice. Release those burdens, my friend. King of Swords. Um, this is wise counsel, right? And um, it's he's about strategy, honesty, integrity, authenticity. This could be mind manipulation as well. But Eight of Swords is also part of this clarification. This is self-imposed restrictions. This is negative self-talk. This is um, self-discouragement, right? She could easily just take that blindfold off. She's not tied tightly. Um, and these ties were actually tied by her. <laughs> so um, getting out of your own head, listen to wise counsel. You've got this, Virgo. You've got this. Right? It's, it's scary starting over. But... And sometimes it just... It doesn't start in a wonderful way that you would hope for it to start. But... Uh, and I'm speaking from experience there. Um, but... Once you get it started and start that momentum moving forward and knowing that you have um, very special soul tribe surrounding you, um, cheering you on and giving you their encouragement and their energy and um, their love is really extremely empowering. And know that you are surrounded by um, your soul tribe that that gives you that just as much as you give it to them. Night of Skies. Clarified by the Queen of Wands. Um, she's inspiring you to follow your intuition, your instincts, your gut feelings. Um, take action upon your creative endeavors. The things that you want to create and manifest in this world, you have to take action towards them. Um, and that, that may be a jagged truth for some people, right? Because um, it could be that some of you might feel like you're, you're stuck or this is as good as it gets. The Hierophant, clarifying the page of skies. You know like you know like you know. The Hierophant is the keeper of the keys of knowledge, Right? Um, clarifying the page of skies, who um, is the truth seeker, right? Um, this tells me that, you know, you know um, what your truth is. Facing it 
and accepting it are two other things, right? Um, but there are people around you who are willing to tell you the truth, um, regardless of whether or not you want to hear it, <laughs> right? <laughs> sometimes, um, sometimes your soul tribe is, are your, sometimes your soul tribe are your biggest fans, but they're also your biggest critic, right? Outside of yourself. We're all our own worst critic, but, um, your true soul tribe will, um, always be truthful to you, no matter what, you know, they may love you to death, but if you're having a bad hair day, they're going to tell you you're having a bad hair day, right? <laughs> they're going to tell you to put on a hat, right? <laughs> um, but they'll, they'll laugh with you and cry with you and they will always stand beside you, stand behind you and stand in front of you when you need protection. So um, know that those truths are meant to push you forward in your journey, not to, you know, criticize you or make you feel bad, but because they are the truth. Those words are the truth. Okay, so know that, you know, yeah, that this is something that you have to, you have to deal with. You've got two ten of wands. Release those burdens. You are ready. You are ready. You even got the yes card. You are ready. Now I need to find my um, old lady spectacles. I seem to have walked off and wandered around my home and misplaced my reading goggles. So I got another pair. It's fine. I have a pair, at least one pair in every room. Because <laughs> I do that. I'll wander off with spectacles on my head. So our gentle creatures is peace. I just love Dan May's art. I just... Peace. Let me read this. Peace. Gotta find it. Peace. Okay. Oh, my hands are so dry today. Okay. All right. Even when the sky seems stormy, there will be moments of peace. Set your heart towards finding them. Always follow that stray butterfly just to see where it will lead you. A moment of reflection is what is called for at this time. If someone or some situation has riled you up to the point of not seeing clearly, it's time to not just smell the roses, but to actively seek them out. By doing this, you will create a small space where you can regain control of your thoughts and emotions. Peace may not last forever in your harried world, but take a lesson from this card. There is always time to fuss and bother with all the many things that we have to do. But only you can carve out those mind-easing moments of peaceful contemplation. When this card appears, ask yourself this. What can I do to invite more peace into my life? Why are all of these bells ringing? I mean, this is, this is spirit saying, hey, um, let's go. Time, <coughs> time to take action, right? Because my house is usually very quiet and we've got all of these bells and dinging things and I don't know what that bell is on the, you know, that one. I don't know what that is. Hold on. Let me go check and see what it is. <laughs> okay. For some reason, the, the timer on my, on my stove was beeping. I don't know why. I don't have any food in my house and I wasn't cooking anything. So, spirit... <laughs> Spirit likes to mess with me. So there you go. Let's see what we've got here. Um, challenge your perception. 
hear the ancient ones and know you belong. Okay, challenge your perception. Okay. So here we go. You cannot challenge an outdated perception or one born from the lack of understanding if you are unwilling to put aside your feelings and beliefs and embrace another's point of view. To do so makes you aware of the whole and stands you up on high where you can see that both parties involved in a dispute can act against an injustice. Both can be right, both can be wrong, and what one may perceive to be harmful may be seen as both healing and beneficial by the other. Let's see, hear the ancient one. Well, I turned right to it, all right. Here are the ancient ones. The indigenous peoples of the world are those who have lived in harmony with the land for countless generations. Among them are the elders whose knowledge and wisdom can teach us of our relationship with nature, of living a life of em empathetic awareness and to better understand our role as caretakers of the earth. They can teach us the wisdom of taking only what we need, of wasting little, and of honoring all sacrifices made so that you may live and grow. Hear the wisdom of the ancient ones. Learn from their knowledge, lore, and traditions. Mm. Know you belong. I love this cat with wings. It's an angel cat. Know you belong. You have a place. You have purpose. You are special. Do not change who you are just so others might accept you. Do not honor your truths by allowing someone, I'm sorry, do not dishonor your truths by allowing someone else to tell you who you must be. Change made just so you fit the expectations or social criteria of a clique or group does not honor you. You do not need to change in order to belong. You are a blessed child of Gaia and great spirit and belong simply because you are. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that message for you, Virgo. I hope that something in this reading sang to you. If it didn't, please leave it behind. Maybe check uh, the readings according to uh, the um, your personal natal chart, um, which, you know, you can always Google free natal chart and a plethora of plethora of websites will pop up for you. Um, but other than that, um, thank you for sticking around with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you on the next video.